Hey guys, Canadian Vape Station. Uh, another video for you. I got. I've been getting a few um, vendors sending me some e-juices, and I want to. I want to re review them. Give them, you know, what they deserve. They sent them to me uh, to review, and I want to give my honest opinion on them. So, here's another video. So, this one I'm. Uh, I'm pretty excited about. It's a Canadian company. A lot of people have heard of it, and uh, yeah, I'm. I'm quite. Uh, Quite honored that they would they would send me the juice to review. So this one here, we're gonna do two juices and one review. They're from the same company, and uh, like I said, you guys probably heard of them. Oh yeah, Stinky Canuck. So we got Pink Poison and Fantasia. Uh, you know I I I've heard of them. I've never tried them, and uh, I've always wanted to try them because I've heard some good things about them. But I thought, well, I should I should give them a whirl and uh, see for myself. So, first off, big thanks to Stinky Canuck. Their website down below, but here it is. Uh, it's www.stinkycanuck. S T I N K Y. C A N U C K dot com. StinkyCanuck dot com. Now they sent me four juices to try out and review. I went on their website when I got them and there is a shit ton of flavors. Like there is I don't even know how many there is. Probably at least 30, maybe more. Um they all sound pretty cool too. Uh so on their website, I was on their website today. Just wanted to get the most up-to-date information when I when I do this video. So went on their website. Their PG and VG ratios is a little bit um, on the PG side. It's it's a 60 PG, 40 VG. So it makes it perfect for a tank. It, you know, it's it's not thick. It won't clog up your tank, or you won't be getting dry hits. It's I haven't got one. And I've been using it in two different tanks. You know, my tester tanks, my, my Nautilus Mini, and my uh, K1s. I have yet to get a dry hit, so... And I've been vaping the uh, the shit out of both of them. Especially the Pink Poison. That was the first one I tried, and I was like, oh my. Anyway, more to come on that in a second. Um, so I went on the website. They have uh, three sizes that you can choose from. They have 10 mils. Looks look like that. So both 10 mils. Uh, we have 30 milliliters and 120 milliliters. Now I'm sure that if you guys try some of their juices and uh, you know like them as much as I do, I'm sure that you'll be into uh, you know a 30 or 120 soon enough. Uh, there is a few different strengths too of nicotine. So we have I've noticed that there was some with a zero nic content. So you know anyone who's vaping that that's off the nicotine that's available. And uh, the majority, well, all the juices that I saw come in 6, 12, 18, and 24 milligrams of nicotine, okay? 10 mil prices, eight ninety five each, okay? So it's, it's pushing a buck a milliliter, but, you know, who can blame them? They're, they're, they're small samples or small bottles. Uh, usually as you buy higher amounts, the price goes lower, same as anything else. Um, so eight ninety five for ten mil, okay. Uh, Thirty mils, your price drops. So you get three times the amount for about double the price. Sixteen ninety five for a thirty mil. Then you get the honk in one twenty mil, and that's not a bad price. Fifty six bucks for hundred and twenty milliliters. That's a that's a big fucking bottle, you know. But there are flavors here that I would definitely uh, like to get hundred and twenty mils of. Uh, one of them, eh, both of these actually aren't too bad, the ones that we're going to take a look at today. Uh, the site is perfect. It has the testing results of their, their e-juices, so like, you know, what's in them, the, you know, any, any lab analysis that's, that's going on with these e-juices, it's posted on their website. Uh, it's a very transparent, um, website, and I appreciate that, you know, there's a lot of people that, that want to know what's going on and make sure that their e-juice is tested and you know, all that stuff. 
Uh, rest assured, these guys is, looks like it is compared, like on their website. Uh, the bottles, so everything's on these bottles. I'll give you a close up here. So let's see if we can get it. Okay, so we have the name of the company, Stinky Canuck. There's the beaver with his nose plugged and flies flying around him. Uh, Fantasia, this is the, the name of the juice. Then we have a poison, you know, poison symbol. Keep it away from children and pets, obviously. Uh, it says approximately 10 milliliters. Uh, sorry about this. ECTA is on the side. Then we have all kinds of stuff here written on it. I'll have to use the other one so you don't keep frigging around here. So, this has the opening instructions. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But, to open, push down on cap and turn counterclockwise. To open, place cap on nozzle and turn clockwise. And the ingredients are there. Hope you guys can see this. Uh, PG, 60%. VG, 40%. Natural and artificial flavors and nicotine. It shows the nicotine, whoops, of what it is. This is a six. Keep it a reach of children and pets. Allergy warning. So, I think I'm allergic to almonds. I have no friggin' idea. I had a bad reaction after I ate some, and uh, anyway, that's that. I stayed away from peanuts. But for the sake of the review, I thought I'd risk it and vape this. I don't have any problems with it. So that's all good. Uh, it's a lot number. So that's good. And an expiry date. You know, expiry date is, uh, I don't know. I like to think of it as best before. There's nothing that's going to turn into a, a fucking, you know, hurtful poison here, I don't think. Uh, I think it's just a best before, like, on milk. Uh, so expires slash best before. Mine is February 2016. Uh, also, I do not speak French, but on the other side of the bottle, we do have a en français. So, a French version. Sorry, there. Okay. And it's uh, not sold to anyone under 18. So, the labels, no problem. Awesome. Bottles, good. Childproof caps. Big plus, and I'm really big. I'm a really big fan of these. See how skinny that nozzle is. That nozzle easily fits in tight spaces to fill up your tanks. So very good. So let's get right down to it. So I got some pink poison in my Nautilus on my eye stick. Twenty. As you can see, well, you can't really see it, but I have been vaping this. I want to give everything a fair shot now. Like, I want to uh, vape it for a few days, maybe go through a tank or two, make sure I got a right, the good feel for it. This shit is awesome. I mean, super good. I couldn't pinpoint what it was because pink poison. Here's a description of it: fruity blend of citrus and berries. And that's pretty. It's pretty general. But when I vaped it. I knew I tasted this before. I couldn't pick out what it was. So that's why I gave myself a little bit of time. And check this out. Flavor is there and the vapor production is there. Now I'm not killing this. It's at 11 watts. Um, the taste is good though. Real good. So, fruity blend of citrus and berries. Well, I do taste citrus and berries. I just can't pinpoint what it is. But, after a bit, I, I, I knew I tasted this before, like I said. And what it is, is a very, very good replica of sweet tarts. Remember those candies that had the fucking little hearts on the messages on them and stuff? Exact, like, 
real, real close to sweet tarts, and they are delicious. I even let a few people at work uh, try this, and they loved it. So, this one, highly, highly recommended. I've, I've vaped this as all day vape uh, a few days and uh, I can't see myself getting tired of this. This is, uh, this is one of these ones that I wish I had a 120 mils of. Okay, now that one here, now, now this, this is a good example. I think this is an awesome, awesome tasting vape, e-juice. It's, it's perfect for me. I'm going to give it a 5 out of, or, well, out of my scale, a 10 out of 10. Okay, so I would definitely buy this. It is so good. Uh, but that being said, my taste is subjective to anyone else's. Like, you know, this is going to be different for everyone. Because on their website, they have a five-star rating system based on reviews, and it comes out in a four out of five. But I would give it a five out of five, or a ten out of ten on my system. So this is a definite, definite try this out. You will not be disappointed, I don't think. It is pretty satisfying, I would say. So, Pink Poison at StinkyCanuck.com. Check that out. Next one I want to check out is a nice colored one. And this is the Fantasia. Okay. I've never tried this before. The description, I mean. The description on Fantasia is a light, sweetie, fruity shisha vape. I've never smoked shisha. I have no idea what the hell it tastes like. Mm. But, this is out of 10 watt iStick Mini K1 tank. It's good. It's real good too. Uh, it's not as, as far, as far as I can tell, and this is my taste again, like I said, this is a hit in your face. It's a sweet tart. This one is more of a milder flavor, but it's still super good. It is a, they, I see where they get sweet and fruity for sure. I, I really don't know what a, sh you know, the, the, the water pipes, shisha, uh, I, I have never had one, so I don't know what how to compare that, but this is um, a subtle flavor and it's really good all day vape again. Um, now I've got four flavors from them, there's going to be two more that I'm going to review, I just haven't got a chance to even vape them yet. My tanks are full with other uh, e-juices that I'm trying to get through and, and review, but um, this one here, um, I can't pinpoint what the fruits are. It almost like a, a citrusy, but not a really hardcore citrus. It's, it's blended with so many other things. And the, the mix just excellent, I must say. Uh, it's a nice and flavorful yet subtle flavor, okay? So if you like fruit vapes or candy, both of these, Fantasia yeah, and uh, Pink Poison are go-tos in my opinion. Um, the, the Fantasia compared to the Pink Poison for me isn't as good for me. Uh, but still, it's right up there. And I mean, like, you know, it's, it's a subtle difference in the, in the rating here. Uh, I would give this a 9. Uh, maybe even a 10. Honestly, it's, it's, they're both pretty damn good. And if you haven't tried Stinky Canuck, 100% check out their website. There's all kinds of flavors. Like, you can get almost anything. And, uh... I would definitely try them if you're not sure. I think they have, I think they have sample packs. 
I have no idea to be honest. I, I didn't check into the sample packs. My bad. I'll uh, I'll check into that for the next uh, review. I have two more juices that I'm gonna review for Stinky Canuck, and uh, I'll I'll try to make sure that I, I post that in the next video. See if you can get a sample pack or something. I'm pretty sure they do though. Um, but yeah, the whole the whole experience with Stinky Canuck is, in my opinion, a really really good one. The flavors are good. The shipping came fast. They uh, they gave me a tracking number. Uh, the service has been good, the flavor selection is good, the website with the testing and, and everything, the transparency. Now, if that's what you're looking for, or even if you're not looking for that, just for the flavors, I would check them out for sure. Uh, I, can't, uh, I can't say anything bad about it. Now, the other two flavors, I have no idea. Uh, we're going to see when I, when I test those out and see how they are, but... Um, so far, two for four are highly recommended. So yeah, I'm not gonna ramble on anymore. I think I'm up to like, yeah, 15, 20 minutes. So uh, I'm sorry guys. I know that you guys probably want shorter videos, but I just ramble on and I just wanna give you as much information as possible, good information. So, if you like this video, Subscribe, uh, comment, like, watch them all. I, I, you know, I, I, like I said in other videos, this is kind of a new channel. I appreciate everything that you guys are doing for me. You know, video watching, uh, subscribing, giving me comments, things, suggestions. Everything, I, I, I read every single comment and try to get back to the person who posts it. Um, I'm going to try to do as, as good of videos as I can and, uh, you know, I'm still kind of learning myself. I kind of suck at editing stuff, so, you know, bear with me. I'm going to get better. But, really, it's not about the editing of the videos. I want to give you the best information that I can and, uh, you know, have a little conversation with you. And, you know, it's all good. All right? So, till next time, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it, and remember, vape on.